I don't like needles as I've got older. That's why I've stopped shooting up. I don't like needles. I won't go to dentist because I won't have an injection. I lost a filling at Christmas. I lost a Quality Street Toffee Penny. Be warned. <laughs> Be warned. Laugh. I'm suing them. I'll tell you now. And I'm suing um, Eben S. Blue Arbor for getting me into jogging bottoms. <laughs> Giving me a false sense of security. So I lost the filling, but I wouldn't go dentist because I don't like needles. Anyway, left it and left it. It turned into a bloody abscess. Agony. It all came to an head when I sucked on a slush puppy at Thomas Land. <laughs> it's a drink, love. And I was going... <laughs> I was like, oh, I've got to get home, I've got to get home. I was in a people carrier with four under five-year-olds listening to it Wiggles. And I thought, I've got to get back home. So I piled everyone in the car. I got on M6, Toll Road, back to Bolton. I had my money ready, 450, it used to be 380, Robin Bastard. <laughs> I went to the automated one, pulled up, agony with my tooth, open the window, hey, oh, it's electric. Those days are gone, hey, none of that anymore. Electric. <laughs> open my window, got me 450, threw it into the bucket, missed. How can you miss? It's that big! <laughs> Three fifty went in, pound coin went straight on the people carrier. I'm like, Christ, so I've got to get out now. I can't tell a member of staff, because there's no bugger there. I've got to get that much room, open my door, it's banging. I can't go forward, there's a barrier. I'm trying to get out and slide down onto... And I don't know if you've noticed, I'm big boned. So I'm trying to get down <laughs> onto my knees. There's a car behind me, beeping. Wait, impatient prick. <laughs> I'm out floor here, listening to Hot Potato, the Wiggles. I can see pound coin, it's right on the centre at people carrier, laughing at me. I ends up, I'm on my knees, and the floor's wet, it's that fine rain soaks you through. And I'm lying on the tarmac, on my abscess cheek. Reaching for this pound coin. I blacked out. Blacked out. I walk up in a 24-hour emergency dentist in Tamworth. <laughs> and he was cross-eyed. He was cross-eyed, this dentist. Swear to God, I don't mean cross-eyed like that. You know, when your eyes meet it middle. He, he looked past me. You know, sometimes you get them people and they're slightly boss-eyed. They look past you when they're talking. Awful, cos when he... When I walk up, he went, Mr K, I'm giving it proper subtle, like... <laughs> Awful, cos when he was trying to drill, I thought he was going to go through me cheek. Cos he's looking at floor, I'm sliding out chair like that. And an x-ray, have you ever had uh, an x-ray at dentist? You've got to bite on this bit of plastic and then put your head in a vice and then him and assistant leg it out at room and leave you. <laughs> I'm like, where are you going? Come back. No, no, Mr K, you stay there. Radiation. I'm like, Christ, where are we? Chernobyl, what's going on here? <laughs> We've got an abscess, look at nose coming out in clumps. What's going on? <laughs> Terry Nutkins, Christ, not mate. <laughs> Put these goggles on for flying debris or whatever. <laughs> He's putting up a kitchen extension. <laughs> then he injects me. You feel a bit of a sting, more of a stab than a sting, lying prick. <laughs> and he went in, then his assistant started sucking. Should grow up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go private. <laughs> she went in, and he starts drilling away. And then, you know, they takes it out and you have a quick check with your tongue for see how he's doing. But your problem is your tongue magnifies the hole. I'm like, oh my God, how big's this hole? He's drilling here. Well, he got an abscess. He's putting up a shopping centre in my mouth. Look at this. There's two blokes on the edge of my tooth, and now that's giving it back here with that skip. Back here, don't you? <laughs> and he starts using my chest as a workbench. Honest to God, I'm like, aren't there any Scalpel, hammer, brew. What are you doing? <laughs> Can be covering on my shirt. Get a coaster. Get a coaster. <laughs> you dragged up. Get a coaster. Then after half an hour of absolute bliss, I had a rinse. <laughs> We're well, all numb, aren't you? Can't feel it. <laughs> oh, shit. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thanks. Proper embarrassed, like. You want any more problems with that tooth, Mr. K? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Thanks, yeah. Stagger out to reception. Are you free in six months on a Tuesday at quarter past four? 
I don't know where I am, over there. I can't see colours. I don't know where I am. <laughs> oh, speak. That's £343. I heard that. I heard that. <laughs> For this, they should wear a mask and a striped jumper. What's the matter with you? <laughs> you take my swore. Pardon? You take my swore. <laughs> Who? My, my swore. You take my swore. <laughs> my what? I can't hear you. My swore. Sweet, sweet. You take sweet. Sweet cars. Sweet, oh, switch. I said switch for five minutes here, Dad. Sweet. Spit all over your counter here. Sweet. It's expired now, it's expired. Sweet. Hundreds of years ago, when man walked the planet, he had no real means of communication. In time, man developed a phenomenon which has never been fully understood by the psychic community. This phenomenon is Clinton Baptiste. You all right? Yeah. Now, I'm getting a voice. Spirit's very strong tonight, very strong. Hey, oh. I'm getting the name. I'm hearing the name. John. Is there a John in the audience? Yeah. Your mother, John. She was quite young when she died. Am I right? 93. Yeah, but she was young in herself, though. She was young at heart. And she seemed to slow down a lot towards the end. Am I right? Yeah. This is, this is your partner, correct? Now, I think there's something you want to tell her, am I right? No. I think there is. Something you wanted to uh, get off your chest. You may be a bit ashamed of. Don't you think you should tell her, John, before you both get hurt? <gasps> nothing, there's nothing. What is it? Hey, mouth. Don't worry, love. You'll still be able to visit. <gasps> now, I'm feeling it very strongly. Over here. Now, what's your name? Don't tell me. It's Sonia. 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 Now, Sonia, love, you've not been very well, have you, love? Am I right? No. Debbie's been ill. De Debbie, Debbie's been. You have, haven't you, love? You've been very poorly. And it's not been easy, has it? <laughs> and it is terminal, isn't it? No. No. Oh. Right, hands up, who can have children? <laughs> You've got to be cruel and be calm. Hey, don't shoot the messenger. I'm only telling you what the spirits are telling me. Now, I'm getting the word... Not. <gasps> You ever do that? Give your mum three rings, let her know you're safe. And after the second ring, she picks it up. So what's the point of that? <laughs> I rang up the other week from London. She said, where are you? I said, I'm in London. You don't sound like you're in London. <laughs> so what do you want? Chaz and Dave singing Rabbit behind me or something like that? Huh? New Carl and Peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when phone rings about half past ten at night and you're both like that. Who the hell's this? <laughs> Who the hell's this? Who's this ringing at this time? Who the hell is this? Pick it up, you'll never know. Point it. Who's this? <laughs> it's rung off, it's rung off. 1471. <laughs> the caller withheld the number. <laughs> oh, when someone rings you, they're trying to give you a phone number, you can never find a pen. There's never a pen. There's always one pen, never works. I'll just, just get a pen, just hang on. Oh, shit. I'll just get a pen, pen, pen. Have you got a pen, love? The bloody pens I've had in this house. The bloody pens I've had in this house. I don't want an eyeliner, I want a pen. I'm on the phone. <laughs> don't say that, coach. Pound coin, that's mine. I'll tell you, that. <laughs> you always end up with a little blue shitty lottery pen's about that big. Look at the pen I've got. Go on, sorry, I've got a pen now. Oh, Jesus. Somebody's chewed through end of it. <laughs> Somebody's bitten through end of it, so now every time you try and write, the nib goes up inside. 
So now you've got to carve the number into paper now. Three, oh, seven, two, nine. Five. I'm going to buy a box of pens and I'm going to put them on that pissing phone table, I'll tell you now. <laughs> a friend of mine had a phone call one afternoon. She had all family around. She had, hello? Hello? What'd you say? I can't tell you. Just turn that television down. I'm on the phone here. What are you saying? Right down. I can't see you, love. Just hang on. Just took phone outside. What did you say? How big are your tits? <laughs> <laughs> it were a dirty phone call, and she dragged him round house. For the third and final time, how big? Are you, I'm in a pay phone here, love. I'm in a pay phone here. There's a queue outside. Them's me pipsy pips have gone. <laughs> what are pips? What are pips? What are pips? Beep, 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 beep. Pips have gone, pips have gone, Mum. <laughs> then you talk quicker, you try and cram it all in after pips. Just walking back beside me, one of the stages, one of the other last ones about me and camera, got a lot of color, color, Pips lost her. Pips <laughs> pips. Texting's bad. Texting's the devil. Takes over your life, texting. I sit at night, me. With my phone on, I'm at couch, looking every few seconds just to see if someone's text me. <laughs> Kim Billy No Mates. <laughs> Vodafone have new offers. If you would like, oh, balls to your offers. I want friends, that's what I want on offers. And when you text, you text crap. What are you watching? What are you? <laughs> are you watching? Big brother, so am I. I know, we're in the same room. <laughs> send, send. What are you doing? I'm sending this. I've got a full signal, send. I've got to get out of you, I've got to get out of you. Send. Answer machines and old people, that's not a good combination, I find. Whenever my nan rings, beep. Hello, Peter, it's your nana. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, don't like these bloody things. Hello, Peter. Don't think he's there, the canteen. What is it? Hello. Hello, it's your granddad. Hello. It's your granddad. I can't hear him. Well, why is that back door open? Well, what are you defrosting? <laughs> Ten minutes in your machine, these two are having a conversation. <laughs> Just forget, Walker. <laughs> our, our answering machine at home says, please leave your name and number after the beep. Beep. Hello, my name is Mum. <laughs> And my number. Like, you're not going to know your own mum. I got my mum a cordless phone for a birthday. And I keep saying, when we've had a conversation and you want to hang up, you've got to push the red button, right? That, do I not just put it back in its holster? It's what? It's holster? It's a phone, not a gun. What are you on about? Push the red button, because if you don't push it, you've not hung up. You're still on the line. And I can't make a call from our house, because I can still hear you in the front room at your house talking to Pat about menopause. And I can't. <laughs> Pat, Pat, I've tried, I've, tried, I've tried HRT, Pat, I've tried HRT. <laughs> I think about, woo, 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 mom! I can hear every word, push the red button! Woo, mom! <laughs> Shh, can you hear voices? <laughs> can you hear that? Can you hear voices? That's a HRT, Pat, that's a HRT. It's not, it's us, the borrowers. Put the phone down. <laughs> We're over here, it's cutting boys. <laughs> I tell you, if it's not one thing, it's your mother.
will see it. Obviously not. I am driving them and we're busy. Speed cameras. I tell you what they are, money spinners for the police. I've just paid for their Christmas piss up. What'll it be, Sarge? Oh, I'll have a double whiskey, please. Got Paddy's paying. Do you not blame it on the music? The music? The music? You were playing, say it got you all G'd up. No, I don't think that'll hold up in court, Max. Reason for speeding, status quo. No. Paddy's had enough. I'm making a stand right here, right now. We're gonna do something about this, me and you. Last day of school, last day of term. I just love last day of term. You know, you can, you can either bring a game in, we run close for 10p and bring a game in, like a plunk, <laughs> or a tank command, or a crossfire, or, or a ma mastermind with that Vietnamese lady on box. Remember that? <laughs> Who was she? <laughs> Who was she? <laughs> Who was she? <laughs> or you can wear your own clothes for 10p. You've got to wear your own clothes for 10p. I might ask me uniform, it's not hired. This is my own uniform. <laughs> I'm a mufti. The teachers, oh, you went on a school trip, you see, you go on a trip, I mean, like a LSD thing, I mean, you go on coaches or something somewhere, and you go off somewhere on a trip, and then, um, you know, teachers, teachers used to turn up in their play clothes, they have, like, cagoules on. You know, you laughing up there. Cagoule, or blue jeans, are you a teacher? Really, really, really blue jeans, really bright blue, with massive turnips. Huge turn up, bright white trainers, really shit trainers off market, like gold or high tech trainers. <laughs> With flashing red lights on, bouncing down the road. Come on! You're on coach A, you're on coach B, so you've not paid 10p. Ah, come on, let's go. <laughs> Dinner ladies getting on, bit of cash in hand. Well, I'll do that. Escort for the day, got 30 quid, that'll do me. Come on, get on. Janice, Barbara, we're on. <laughs> auntie Sandra, not my real auntie though. Friend of family. Your pal on coach, you know, I get on, and there'd be some, them girls would always pretend they were drunk because they'd have a side of lolly. <laughs> or a shandy. Have a shandy lolly or a side of lolly, they pretend they were drunk. I'm drunk, come out of my head. I'm drunk, it was a back seat, where am I? <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> if you're gonna go to Alton Towns, go with a dinner lady. Oh, not, not now, but you can if you want, don't mind. They'll light your candle. If you go, or go with a pensioner, go with a pensioner because they, they, they won't want to go on anything. And they always walk, I guarantee you, they just walk around going, oh, you won't get me on that thing. Go, right, hold me bags, I'll be back in a week. <laughs> get on this one, get on this one here, get on this one, there's no queue, there's no queue. There's no queue, get on this one. No, there's no queue, you don't see 3,000 people on the side of hill, nah, queuing for about a week. Wow. Snaked queues, one week from this point. <laughs> You go to Alton Towers now, though, and there's, like, rides like uh, the Oblivion. That, that's not a ride, that, no, it's not nice. That, you know, you queue it for about a week, and you have all that. Do you ride the Oblivion and live? You can't go back. All these special effects and strobe lights and things, and you get to the front, and you think, oh, it's going to be good, this. we queue queuing for a week. And get the... It's like, T minus five minutes to embarkation. And you think, oh, it's going to be good. And just for take that Hollywood shine off it, some lad from Midlands going, do you mind taking your price out, love? <laughs> what? You take your price out. Why? Well, I chill. Now you'll just ruin the photograph for everybody else, you ugly bitch. Just take it out. So you go on holiday and you arrive. First thing you should do is uh, open your case and get out some, get out a tin of beans, right? Beans and sausage, you've got the money, right? <laughs> open them up and throw them all over your wall. All over your wall in your apartment, all the way down, right? And then go around your apartment and take the time out to find a cockroach or an insect, something like that. Find it, pull all your bedding back, 
put it in your bed, right, and then go around and take photographs of each other, like this. <laughs> when we arrive. Send them to Tom Robinson on Watchdog and you get your money back for your holiday. I'll go and take a count card and get an holiday from hell. Film it all, then people are like, oh, oh, them people. When I arrived on the Monday night, my children were very tired. I took them into the bathroom and I decided to bath them. I turned on the tap and what can only be described as shit came out <laughs> of the tap. <laughs> I went to tell the manager and he assured me that it was perfectly natural for this time he had me rep. Didn't want to know. <laughs> By the third day, my children were starting to smell of shit. <laughs> I was bathing my old children in shit. <laughs> Next week, family crews fire chaos. I had to jump from the top deck of the ship with both my legs on fire. <laughs> that is not a holiday. Some people would marry for each other. Some people would marry for each other. How about us? <laughs> Never mind, Sam. What's going on with you, G? What do you mean? Yeah, you know. <laughs> No, I ain't gonna f it on. I'm just trying to get to it. Hey, yo! <laughs> Turn it into. Four hours I spent in the AMD on Boxing Day evening. Yeah. I spent four hours in the AMD Boxing Day night with my arm <gasps> wedged in the chip. Apparently, I've got very wide wrists. What about have you tried Gaviscon? <laughs> Gaviscon? <laughs> he laughed, not. No taste for me, not just Tim and I love. Or coffee, see, I'm a slave. What it is, I'm a slave to the heartburn. Don't make me laugh, I love. Don't laugh. Stop it. No tea for me, not to stimulate love. Or coffee, see, I am what it is, I'm a slave to the heartburn. Stop, because when you do, I do. Don't. Don't make me laugh. Give me your badge. <laughs> she must stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's personal now. <laughs> She's out to get me. Any man would be lucky to have you, Elsie. When you have him. I want to eat dog now, nah, that's what I want to eat. Something that likes you but doesn't want to hang back. You know what I mean? I'm a slave to joggers' nipples. Christ, how much jogging do you do? I've never jogged a day in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I've known about that for ages. Big die on off non food. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I would hang on to this one, Kaylee, but... <laughs> All right, Mr. Lobba Lobba. You want to walk me to my gate? Leaders. Elsie. Mm -hmm. Trophy. Oh, Oh, Come on, Lock, you, lock the doors. Lock the doors like the bloody Bronx round here. Just seen a pram. I'm coming! I'm back in the f <laughs> Get back in, Elsie! Hey, garlic bread! Hey, it's the future, lads! Did you get your mum that bungalow? Yeah, she wants a new carpet now. <laughs>